Hi guys, this is Simeon. I'm down here by the lake getting water. I'm just filming spontaneously with my iPhone and I am so sorry, I really am, that we haven't updated you guys in so long. No video, no post on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. I'm really sorry about that, but we have just been super duper busy. So many things going on. Today is the day that we are leaving for the States. We're packing up things and, and heading to the train station. Um, it's just been out of this world busy. I have a lot of cool stuff to show you. I want to show you some stuff um, in this video even and we are very excited. You know, it, I'm really sorry that I haven't updated you guys because so many of you um, care about us and you pray for us and you're wondering how it's going and what's, uh, what's going on. So, you know, I, I, I do feel bad um, just because of the great community and the support that we have. But here we are, we're heading out today super thankful that this trip is happening and um, we're gonna have a lot of stuff to share with you even um, during our trip um, maybe not quantity but a lot of quality and um, yeah I, I guess I just wanted to say that and here I want to update we finished the cow shelter the cows are in um, we, we I did a lot of stuff to get the farm ready and and I just want to show you the cow shelter because it turned out really really cool here I'm at our cow shelter that we've finished. Let me turn the camera. I'm uh, sorry about the quality of this, both the audio and the video, because I'm just using my iPhone here. My camera is packed already. So here you can see um, the roof. So it's 12 meters wide, and then it's um, five and a half meters deep right here. I've built this. Um, part here where the cows are eating um, They have to work quite hard to get the head in here They have to lift it up so they don't pull back and pull all the hay into the bedding works real well and there It's a bit lower for the calves to eat um, I'm Putting a round bale here, and then we're just making sure they have enough here This is about 30 centimeters a foot of wood chips that we have here um, and we will be adding to it we will have these cows here now they have a little area here where they can walk outside we'll make that bigger eventually um, but all the manure and stuff the urine that they don't drop out there most of it will be ca captured here in this deep bedding and this will produce um, a lot of compost for us. I will calculate that and write that here in the um, description. And so you can see right there that I have a wire here and then the wires go up the um, posts there. Also there you can see the wire running down the post and that's so that they don't stand and itch on that like crazy. We connected um, we connected the um, entire roof there to the old stable. We put some hardcore, uh, it's bad quality, I'm sorry, but we could put some um, bars through there with huge screws on both sides. Um, there's one meter 20 between these beams on the roof and then 40 centimeters on um, those ones. Then we have sheet metal six meters long. So, um, here we have the electricity running. We can easily um, disconnect it when we get snow. So the bottom wire is will be touching the snow. With this wire, we can just um, disconnect it so it won't be grounded. Um, yeah, let me go back. Let me go back a little bit and give you guys a bigger shot. Now, here is a netting that blocks most of the wind that will go. Um, around part of the structure so that it's um, according to regulations where the um, where they require that three walls are enclosed for the cattle which is really stupid because the cattle don't like that because they want to see what's going on around them and they will not like to go into a structure with three walls enclosed so in that sense the netting is better because they can see a little bit through it still and not be so freaked out um, a strong spark on this wire yet the calves have been going out they were taught this summer when it was so dry and the electric fence was very poorly working only 
that they could go through these wires they've gotten shocked a couple times but it'll still take a few days till they're used um, to it now here they will trample everything muddy and basically prepare a garden area for me where I will plant potatoes um, we made the entire structure very strong by putting these diagonals um, in there which will uh, yeah which really and um, made this very sturdy and in all directions so super thankful for this um, we probably paid um, only for screws and the sheet metal roofing um, under a thousand dollars about a thousand dollars and because we had all the wood and this is an amazing amazing structure for that price tag and um, in just a couple seasons we'll have produced compost maybe even in one season we have produced compost that's worth just as much as that we paid for the structure so i hope you found that a bit interesting um i'm gonna be heading to the airport now hope that you guys um like this there will be more of this showing once we get back to sweden but for right now i'm glad it's done it was a lot of work these last days here glad weather held up for it and now I think it looks great and and I really love you know having something nice for the cattle I really like having something that works so we might be adding a little bit of a roof right here those are things we can improve on later yeah so here I am uh, water tank is almost full I uh, hope you enjoyed this video um, I will keep you guys updated on all of this this is um, something we won't see for a while now uh, we'll be heading to different weather to different um, part of the world different food different everything so um, it's it's a bit sad to leave this behind as well but super exciting what's ahead uh, I see you in the next video guys thank you so much for caring bye bye